Power BI connection via all data. First of all, we got to say that um, credentials should be probably uh, via organization account, the same as you do in your uh, Dynamics uh, 365. And this organization account sits actually in uh, Microsoft. That's uh, you see the URLs of uh, Trio data connections, customers, sales orders, and uh, sales lines. Uh, sales order and sales lines they are connected automatically via sales ID, as you can see here. Auto detected the connection was auto detected. Now let's go and take a look at report itself. So here you can have uh, visualizations. Um, I switched back to the table. This is address for the header, and this is from the lines, quantity, uh, item number, uh, and then line amount. And then on the left side you see uh, from the sales header, sales order header. Here are three, da three data sources. We don't really use customers. We only use sales order header and sales order line. If you mark field, uh, it automatically goes to the table to the right from the most, most uh, right one current. Okay, so you can switch back to map if you like, and uh, it will automatically uh, take the map from the address field. Okay, here is our data connection VR in the browser. Uh, and this is URL which allows you to see available our data connections. Our data connections could be uh, either from the system or you can create custom ones uh, in uh, Visual Studio if you like. If something is missing, for example, you can create um, one in Visual Studio and it will be exposed via all data as well. Let's take a look at the URL. For all data list. Let's switch back to the uh, specific uh, entity. All data exposes entities. This is one record. But apparently in Power BI you can see this uh, stru structured. Okay, that's back to the uh, list of entities in which you can see in, in the browser. <coughs> 